The Prophecy. No, no, no. The Prophecy. Casey Jones from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles stars as Thomas Daggett, a former cleric turned big crybaby, turned LAPD detective. After a visit from Stoner Bud, aka the Angel Simon, he's assigned this convoluted murder. <laughs> this guy speeding in a dead-end alley. Do you know how fast one has to drive to impale a human being like that? Of course, Uziel isn't really human. He's a seraphim caught in a heavenly war so secret, it's only mentioned in the 23rd chapter of Revelations. There is no 23rd chapter. You see, whereas Simon still upholds the will of God, the Archangel Gabriel has grown jealous of humanity and aims to wipe us from the face of heaven so he and his brethren can have the whole pie. Get me a big bowl of pie, some ice cream on it. Mm-hmm, good. His plan? Phase 1. Steal the soul of Arnold Hawthorne, a recently deceased war criminal. Phase 2? Phase 3. Win the war and bring hell on Earth. Fortunately, Simon gets hold of Hawthorne's spirit and hides it in a 12-year-old girl by the name of Mary. Ew, bad touch, bad touch! Meanwhile, Thomas' investigation leads him to Arizona and... Ugh. Native American exorcisms, soul-destroying sky beams, zombie drivers, Hellraiser Jawas, Satan played by Aragorn. The prophecy brims with wild ideas, but what sets the movie apart is the understated sensitivity with which writer-director Gregory Wyden treats this material. Take, for example, the subplot wherein Gabriel resurrects Eddie Manuik from Friends and Honey Bunny from Pulp Fiction in order to make them his slaves. Don't do that. A lesser film would have used the conceit as a mere excuse for digital cannon fodder. But here the emphasis is put firmly on the trauma of missing eternal bliss by just a heartbeat. By the same token, I love Christopher Walken's childlike portrayal of Gabriel. The way this line, for instance, evokes as much hurt as menace. Why didn't you just ask God? Because he doesn't talk to me anymore. Ah, uh, don't you feel bad for him for just a fraction of a second? All that being said, we wouldn't have much of a B-movie without some gratuitous violence, so here goes. You know the routine? Yes. Alrighty then, this episode's Dumb Way to Die... Not yet! Jeez, alright! Calm down! Can I go ahead now? This episode's Dumb Way to Die, slow roasted overnight for your tender heart meat. I'm Dimitri from Indiamanic.com, reminding you to stay safe. Also, what goes around comes around. I don't like tartar either. For my full review of the prophecy, check out idiomatic.com.